Hey, what's up guys? David here from Dignited. Today, I want to compare Windows PC versus a Chromebook and just to show you which one is best suited for you. All right, let's get into it. All right, so with me are two laptops. This is a Windows machine. It's an Asus Vivo laptop that I've had for the last three years. And then this guy is the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Go that I've been using for the past one year as my daily driver. If a regular on this channel, you've probably seen it quite a lot of times. I've been primarily a Windows user for a very long time. Actually, from the beginning of my computing journeys, I have been using Windows, but given my job, I have been switching between Windows, Chrome, and Mac. So what are the differences between Chromebooks and traditional laptops and which one is best suited for you? That is the purpose of this video and hopefully by the end of this video you should have known which one is best suited for you. All right, let's kick off with the obvious. Windows laptops are driven or are powered by Windows operating system, which as you know was developed in the 70s and has had a very long time in development. Windows is owned by Microsoft Corporation Whereas Chromebooks are driven or powered by Chrome OS, which is developed primarily by Google and it's loosely based on Chromium, which itself is loosely based on Linux operating system. All right now, let's talk about software compatibility. Windows support a wide range of software, including Microsoft Office. So that is Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Basically, all the traditional software that you're used to is right here. You have a wide range of uh, browsers that are supported, including Firefox, Chrome. You have Adobe Suite that is supported right here. So that is Photoshop, Adobe Premiere Pro, and a number of other things like on my laptop, here I have so many applications, Udacity which is for audio editing and then OBS which is for live streaming, I have VPNs and so forth. So Windows laptops have a wide range of software compatibility because they have been there for a very long time. Chromebooks on the other hand have limited range of software but can access web-based applications and Android applications. So if you primarily use web-based applications such as gmail or facebook or twitter then chromebooks are really great for that so that is web browsing document curation emailing and so forth these chromebooks can really do that in 2016 google extended the functionality of chromebooks by supporting android applications so android applications are now supported on chromebook and as you know, there are over 1 million Android applications. So you can download literally any Android application on your phone and use it on your Chromebook. Now, bear in mind that not all Android applications have full compatibility with Chromebooks. And also Android applications are primarily developed for small vertical screens, whereas Chromebooks have wide screens. So there is that too. But you have a wide range of applications now supported on Chromebook, but not as wide as your PC here. All right, let's talk about performance. Now, we know that Windows laptops have varied performance based on the specifications. My Windows machine here is an Asus laptop and it's powered by an Intel Core i5 processor with about 24 GB of RAM and it's really a beast. It can really perform a high tasks such as gaming or computer programming or photo editing or video editing because it has those specs, right? So Windows laptops have low performance, mid-range and high performance laptops here based on the specifications of the machine from various vendors such as Asus, Dell, HP, and so forth. All right, when it comes to Chromebooks, Chromebooks are lightweight laptops as we know and they are really designed for lightweight applications such as web browsing document creation and emailing so when it comes to specs most laptops have about 4 gb of ram and about 62 to 64 gb of storage so they're not as beefy as traditional laptops that's not to mean that they are slow because they are tweaked for those applications that they do 
So for example, my laptop here is powered by Intel Celeron N4500 clocked at one gigahertz and it has 4 GB of RAM and then 32 GB of onboard storage. But it's not slow when I use it for the applications that it's designed for. So that is basic browsing, emailing, and document creation using Google Docs. Google has really tweaked Chrome OS for these lightweight applications and Chromebooks don't feel slow at all. So it is not about specs. However, if you throw at it heavyweight or high CPU applications such as gaming or video editing or photo editing, then it really starts to struggle. All right, now let's talk about customization options here. Chromebooks are customizable, but not quite as much as Windows laptops. I can change my wallpaper here. I can change my screen server here. I can change the screen orientation and so forth. I can do exactly the same with a Windows machine here. I can change the uh, default wallpaper screen server, but I can do more. I can change the font. I can change the theme and all that, right? So laptops have a wide range of customization compared to your Chromebooks. All right, now let's talk about battery. One of the things that Chromebooks really, really excel at is battery. So this Galaxy Chromebook Go has about 10 hours of battery. So that is practically a full day of working. I can just get it on full battery, get to a coffee shop and just do my work without having to plug it into a power source. And that is really excellent. And that is consistent almost across all wide range of Chromebook laptops. Now compare that to Windows laptops. This is a mid-range laptop, but I can only get up to about three hours of a battery when it's new. These days I get less than 30 minutes of battery, right? So Windows laptops are varied when it comes to battery. The high performance ones have really good battery, but mid-range and low-end Windows PCs really perform terribly when it comes to battery. Right now, let's talk about price. We know that one of the best things about Chromebooks is their price. They are really budget machines. I got this Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Go for about $30 when it was new. But right now, if you go to Amazon, it's about $210 and that is really great. So you can even get Chromebooks for about $100, believe it or not. Not so with Windows machines. Windows machines are a lot more expensive and the cheaper ones are not worth it at all. So the cheapest Windows laptops start from about $300 or $250, usually powered by Intel Celeron processor. But if you try to use them, they're just too slow. It's totally not worth it. So if you're going for a Windows laptop, you probably want to go for a mid-range to high-end machine, right? Which begins from 500 to over a thousand dollars. Now let's talk about what each machine is best suited for. Windows machines are powerful and versatile machines for demanding tasks. So if you are a creative and you do a lot of photo editing, video editing, if you do animation and so forth, definitely you want to go with a Windows machine. If you do computer programming or any specialized application, for example, enterprises or businesses out there on specialized applications that they run internally, Windows laptops is what you want to go for. Now, you really can't do serious photo editing or video editing or animation on Chromebooks. You just can't do that. First of all, the applications are not supported here. You don't have Adobe Photoshop, for example, here, or Adobe Premiere, or any of the heavyweight applications, right? The best that you can do is to install Linux and then use Linux desktop applications, for example, GIMP on Chromebook. However, natively, none of that stuff is supported. If you want to do video editing or photo editing, you probably want to install some of the Android applications such as Luma Fusion or Adobe Lightroom. But then again, these are not as beefy or as powerful as their desktop equivalent. So you really don't want to think about 
using Chromebooks for high performance tasks. It just won't work. But if your everyday tasks include document duration, browsing the internet, or sending emails, these machines are absolutely fantastic for that. Chromebooks come with Google's productivity suit, that is Google Docs, Slides, and Sheets. And they are built into Chromebooks and you can use them for creating documents and you know sending emails you have gmail here pre-installed you have google drive pre-installed here and you have the chrome browser pre-installed here so that is great for browsing the internet watching the netflix or youtube or getting on your social media channels twitter facebook tiktok and so forth you definitely can do that on Chromebook but when it comes to gaming well that's not really possible currently I know that Google is working with Steam to bring gaming to Chromebooks but then again that is limited to specific Chromebooks that are high performance and ship with Intel's higher processors all right so I just want to summarize for you real quick the pros and cons of Chromebooks over Windows laptops starting with the pros one Chromebooks are really cheap machines compared to Windows laptops right there. You can get a Chromebook as low as $200 or even $100 on a deal. Two, they are more portable and lightweight. Typically, you have a Chromebook weigh around two pounds or one kilogram. And that is really a plus if you're going to travel or if you have classes and you're carrying a laptop with you every day to class. Three, they are easy to set up and use. All you need to do when you buy a laptop is just sign in with your email account and it's right there, it's ready to go. They are really easy to use because the user interface is very, very minimalistic. You can just pick up quite a lot of things and you know, just do whatever you want. Four, they have a long battery life. As I already said, like my Samsung Galaxy Chromebook go here gives me up to 10 hours of battery compared to my Vivo laptop, which gives me about 30 minutes now. And then five Chromebooks are great for online activities, such as web browsing, email, social media, document curation, and so forth. They are just designed for that. All right, now just to talk about the cons of Chromebooks versus Windows machines. One is they are limited in functionality compared to traditional laptops. As you know, the operating system and also software compatibility is really, really limiting. Two, they are not suited for power users and gamers. Yes, because they don't have the beefy specifications or hardware to run those applications that power users normally use. Three, they require an internet connection for most of the tasks. I know Chromebooks have offline mode and I've written an article about that. You can use them offline, but that is limited to Google productivity apps such as Google Docs, Sheets and Slides and also Google Drive. But most applications will really require an internet connection, whereas Windows machines are traditionally designed for offline use, given that Windows was developed before the internet took off. All right, Chromebooks have limited storage compared to laptops, and that is absolutely true. A typical Chromebook, like my Chromebook here, has 32 GB, and you know, the higher ones have 64, and the high spec ones have like 128 GB of onboard storage. So if you're using an application that requires really huge onboard storage, or local storage, then Chromebook is not good for you. All right, guys, I hope I've highlighted some of the differences between Chromebooks and traditional Windows laptops. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.